everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing well today. Actually, this week has been a crazy week for me. I wanted to give you guys an update on me and my family. We are in Houston, and if you haven't turned on the TV in the last week, Houston basically had the biggest flood ever. So, uh, I think it actually is the biggest flood in, in the United States history. Anyway, um, I wanted to let you know that I am safe. My home is safe. My church building that we just built nine months ago, for those of you that don't know, I'm a pastor, uh, is was the water came right up to it, basically. Um, but it was not flooded, thank God. Um, we had a great builder that decided to build it up higher than was required, and I'm extremely thankful for that. So um, I wanted to just share with you what's going on in Houston. And uh, you know, this isn't a music vlog. Uh, you know, but you know, this is such a big part of my life this last week. I wanted to share with you what's going on and what we're doing. So uh, basically, Houston is huge. If you live in, in just about any other city in the world, it's hard to fathom how big it is. But to put it in perspective, um, most cities have like a wraparound loop, you know, like a highway that goes around the entire city. Uh, Houston has three of those, like three concentric circles that go all the way around. I live right at the edge of the third one, which is called 99, the Grand Parkway, and I live in the northwest side of Houston. So um, basically that loop around, it takes 170 miles to make that loop. So imagine a highway around your city, but it takes 170 miles if you started on it and kept driving to get back to where you started. Inside that loop, the 99 Grand Parkway, is about 7 million people. So when we're talking about the flood coming in, it's not just um, you know uh, 100,000 people or whatever the case is. It's seven million people affected by it, and the flood went up further into Beaumont, uh, almost to Lake Charles, and different parts of Louisiana. So uh, this has just been a crazy, crazy rain. It just rained, 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 rained for uh, days. So for like three and a half days, we got 49. 3 inches right in Cyprus where I live that part of Houston and um, <laughs> our average rainfall for the year is 50 inches so basically in three and a half days we got what we would normally get in a year uh, but fortunately my home is not um, was not flooded but I wanted to share with you what my last three days have been like. So on the, the, the first day after the hurricane stopped, basically it was still raining a little bit, but we tried to, we collected items for, uh, from people in our church to give to a shelter. You know, they needed like mattresses and air mattresses and cots and that kind of thing, clothes a little bit, uh, mostly blankets, maybe some toiletries. Anyway, we had a whole truckload of, of, of stuff we were gonna donate to a shelter. Um, the shelter we were going to uh, was not too too far away but we could not get to it uh, the floods uh, were just every highway we went to every back road we went to was flooded so I've got a little bit of footage I, I took of that I'm going to share with you in a second of us just getting dead end after dead end after dead end and uh, and then I wanted to share with you what we've been doing to to help support our community um, there was a lady that, that we went to you know it, it's amazing there are certain areas you can literally if you wanted to help you could just drive into the area go to a house and say hey can I help you and they'll be like yeah sure <laughs> come on in because uh, what happens is you got to tear out all the drywall um, about a foot or two feet however high it went um, and then you got to remove all the flooring and you know the thing is only like 80 or 85 percent of people um, in the Houston area don't have flood insurance so most of these people are paying out of pocket to recover from this so we went into a lady's house, and I've got some footage of that, uh, just some people in my church and some friends that we went in there and, and started to do some demo and repair, um, getting, getting it ready to repair for her house. She did not have insurance, um, so, so I'm going to show you kind of what that looked like. And then uh, today, there was a, a shelter, it was actually the original shelter I was trying to get to, a church called uh, Copperfield Church in Cypress, Texas. And they're housing people, and they've had so many donations given uh, at their shelter that, that they can't even use. I mean, literally rooms full of, of clothing and different you know, toiletry items and toilet paper and all this kind of stuff. So what they're doing is they're packing up a semi, and we loaded it up today to ship 
to uh, Port Arthur, who is another town that's been affected by the hurricane, and they need more supplies than what we had. So um, anyway, here's this footage of what's happening here in Houston right now. Um, so thankful that we live in a, an awesome community. And uh, for those of you that are not Texans, uh, you got to understand how Texans come together. It's a really amazing thing. So um, if you only have a negative stereotype of Texas, you don't have the right Texas in mind. So anyway, Kenneth Russell out. I'm going to show you this video and uh, hopefully it's encouraging to you. And uh, thank you so much for watching. This is the aftermath for the first couple days at least where I'm at of Hurricane Harvey. And what is up here on the Huff Yeah, look at the water all the way up on that truck, that yep. light truck up there. They got it good. Yep, that's a little Cypress Creek flooding right there. Yep, you can still, man, it's a lake over there. Yeah. All right, well. truck over here. Oh, he got washed in. Oh my gosh. Dude, I bet you I can leave that. Um, you might. Not that it would do us oh. any good. Do you have a picture? Kenneth, are you getting a picture of that I'm truck? getting a video of it, yeah. <laughs> Don't. I'm going to have to swim out. Can you my floaties? Yep, that one low spot, because then he just came up and it's I wonder if the road is uh, getting down there or something. This truck was here yesterday, um, but basically we turned around on the freeway up here, just past this Luetta exit. Oh yeah, this is down significantly. The water used to be all the way up here to the little underpass here at Luetta. See all this flatland here, all this was underwater yesterday. Oh. Basically, we turned around right here, did the U in, and went back the other direction. Do you have this on wow. the left? Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's a river right there. That is a freaking river. some water that got into some areas. Other parts look okay on that end. 
That's the elementary school right there. Yeah. Yeah, all of this was, I bet it was impassable. That's why they had people turning around. That's the news. Oh, yeah. It looked like they were getting the news of the FedEx. Just a, looks like they got it. Their boat. Somebody they got just a boat over right here. Parkway is open both north and south. There's a little bit of water over here by 529. Um, Barker is pretty much underwater, so we got Keith Harrow and West Woodard for that. But then again, when you get over towards Fry Road, West Little York starts getting flooded out. Right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, here we, we're passing 529 on the Grand Parkway now, and and it's about uh, four feet up. There's a couple of cars that are over here that the water's <coughs> up high on. And uh, yeah. we're, we're coming over the overpass now. I was just trying to find a way over to y'all's side of town, but it doesn't look like anything, at least from this side, you know, is going to no, be available. No, fry roads, fry roads impassable. Man. Yeah, we might need to be able to make it to 10. Not sure what's going on up here. But look how high the water is on the bridge there, Clay Road. Oh yeah, that, that green guy was like, oh. Maybe he's wanting to get behind somebody. Oh, there's a car over here on the left that uh, flooded out. Oh, yep. You know what? I don't think that's really four. They're taking the high water a little bit, though. Yeah. Then turn right onto Glenway Drive. Turn right onto Glenway Drive. So this is the backyard of a lady we've been helping all day today. Kind of put all of her stuff here in the middle. Put out the bottom where it was flooded, let that dry out, pull out all the insulation. So basically this whole house, all the flooring except for the tile, and it's hard to see back in here, the light's off. But uh, ripped up all of this, this was hardwood in here. I'll give you a little bit of, a little bit of light in there, but you know, it's just the whole thing, you know, the water gets in, it's devastating. All that stuff. And walk back over here. Especially these single story homes. You know, it's all on the ground. They put the stuff in the middle there. And then like, we were almost done for the day. And back in this room here. We're cutting away this and broke a water pipe right there. And it started spraying water everywhere. So we didn't, uh, we had about another 30 or 40 gallons that we had to clean up. But that's it. That's what happens. You can see the water line there. Just a foot, just a foot of water gets everything. This lady did not have insurance. So I'm not sure what they do in that case. But. back in here. It's the first room I started working on. So the living room. You know what? I was really happy to be a part. Really happy to help. Because they need help. And that's what we're here for. Let people know we love them. Show you all the stuff that was pulled out of here. In the front porch. So she kept a lot of her stuff. We're just gonna try to 
try to save it the, for some furniture over there. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but this is the, the carpet, the flooring, all that. You can see just all those bags and bags and bags. Most of that's just insulation and such. If you go look at the cross the street, same thing, carpet, stuff over there. These two houses here, they're just stripping the whole thing clean. But it's cool, you know, we were we were out here you know, loving on her, letting her know we're here for her. And there was other people too, you know, that just kind of showed up. There's some people that came and brought us sandwiches as we were eating, you know, for lunch. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. There's my brother-in-law, Lewis, coming to fix the pipe that he broke. You gotta make sure to point out that it was me that broke it. Yep, it was him. There he is right there. <laughs> uh, but you see, and what was crazy is all this flooring here, they had installed it on top of laminate. So it was, you know, like double the blue to get it up. So, but I mean, you can see how, how high I am right now. I mean, like the, I would imagine that the threshold of that front door is about maybe thigh, a little higher than thigh high, not quite waist. You know, maybe, I don't know, three feet maybe more you can see how how high comparing it to the, these other houses over there it's quite a bit different elevation there um you know just look at the truck you know like that, that's the edge of the truck and how high it would take to get the water in there this place this place flooded there's thousands of homes in houston just like this and um, she is precious and she has been through a lot a lot a lot of loss and seeing people come in here and being Jesus to her will carry her through this. And I just want to say personally, thank you for being a part of the team and for coming together, for working so hard. And uh, just know, I just am praying blessings beyond blessings over to you for taking your time today. You could have been doing other things to minister to her. And so thank you. This is Copperfield Church, Cypress, Texas. You can see these rooms were just filled with stuff. Each of these rooms is something different. And we're loading them up. Women's clothing, whole room, men's clothing. And this is this is after it's been depleted quite a bit. Waters. I think we loaded up most of the diapers. I think this is still bedding back in here. And this was almost full when we started at it. You can see there's more, a lot more stuff that still needs to be sorted. It's pretty sweet, this mobile shower. Small bags or mini things. Small bags. Small bags of anything. You want to hold off on the cleaning hygiene? You know, I think it's pretty amazing that people get together. You know, communities just come together and help. You got people all nationalities, races, everybody, it doesn't even matter. We're just trying to help help people. And uh, you know, the stuff you see on the news about churches not wanting to open up and all that kind of thing, it's just, it, 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 it's, it's really absurd. There's a lot of churches that are opening themselves up. Um, this church behind me, Copperfield Church on Highway 6 in Cyprus, they're housing hundreds of people. We got all this this year, we're sending it to other cities. It's just it's just amazing. And our church, you know, came in to volunteer to partner with them. Uh, I'm just, I'm really, it moves my heart to see people really make a difference in their community and in the world. So anyway, uh, it's pretty neat seeing all that is happening. I mean, that's an entire semi truck. That is a huge semi full of goods that have been donated from this area that just overflow for other areas that need it more.